Welcome to day one of our embossed leaf project here. So what we are going to be making over the course of the next couple days are these beautiful embossed leaves on aluminum. Just showing you. All right, so it's hard to see on the video, but they do have a height to them. So they're bubbling up a little bit. Um, embossing is a process in which you are creating depth in paper, or in this case, metal. So embossing is often confused with um, engraving, which if you've ever had like a piece of jewelry engraved, you know that they take like a drill and they basically like scuff the surface of it and remove some of the surface of the metal. Embossing, what we're going to be doing is pushing down on the surface and then flipping and pushing down on the surface to create raised reliefs or um, a texture on the surface of our aluminum. Now, a few things about the aluminum that I must tell you. One, it is sharp, so be careful on the edges, All right? Two, I will help pass it out because when I cut it, it likes to stick together. Um, and three, it can rip. So there's only so much surface tension, so much pulling and tugging that you can do to the aluminum before it will tear. So just have that in the back of your head when we are working on this. I'm going to move these guys off the side here and zoom in some for you. All right, so materials that you are going to need for this project are a piece of felt. All this is going to do is create a cushion between the tabletop and your um, aluminum. It will not push down if you're pushing directly onto the tabletop. You need this like cushion or padding. Um, one or two leaf stencils. You are going to need a wooden needle tool. And briefly today, you are going to need a Sharpie marker, a fine point, not the ultra fine point. You don't want, the ultra fine point is too condensed of a point and it'll basically emboss your name on the back of your paper and you don't, on the back of your metal, I'm sorry. You don't want that, so. Without further ado, after the demonstration, you are going to get your wooden needle tool, your piece of aluminum, Sharpie, and felt Return to your seats. At your seats, you have some stencils of varying sizes. You are going to be putting on three leaves off of a branch. We will talk briefly about the insect in a moment. You are limited to one. We are not having an infect infestation on our embossed leaves, okay? One insect, if you choose, you don't need to. Have that on there if you don't want to at all. So, <clears throat> the first thing you're going to do is ever so lightly with your Sharpie marker, I'm going to write my name. I am not pushing, I am not adding pressure to this. Um, you are also going to put your class code on the back. In this case, you are 4B. But if you're watching in another class or online, it is probably something different. Cap your marker. You're done with that for the day. Then you are going to flip this over because we don't want to see your name. And we are going to trace some leaves. I like to start with a corner or close to a corner. Basically, you are just going to hold this in place, trace around this guy. All right, and I'm gonna come up to the stem, but I'm not gonna trace the stem just yet. All right, then I am going to probably do another one. 
And I'm just gonna situate this to see like if I can fit that here. Because what I am trying to achieve, we're gonna have to put this branch in here. That's why I'm not tracing the stem just yet. So quickly, I'm gonna trace this. I'm not digging my wooden needle tool in here. I'm just doing a pressure line. So I have the outside of my stencils traced. I'm done with those. Next, we are going to put in a branch or something that is going to connect these leaves. However, we want the branch to have some thickness. So I'm not holding my wooden needle tool straight up and down. I'm gonna like, pull it and glide it down and I'm gonna go kind of beside it I'm not making my branch super thick beside it there and figure out how your other leaves are going to connect to your branch so they're coming in a downward pattern or downward manner I know with all the different glare, it's kind of hard to see. But the next step is one that you guys should really be experts in at this point, putting our veins in. So if you have been with me all along here, you guys have been putting veins and leaves every year, at least once or twice since you've been itty bitty. So, we just did our clay leaf. In this case, um, this project may come before the clay leaf, but for us sitting here today, we already did that. We know that our maple leaf has a main vein up. It has actually five main veins, and I am pulling my lines to the center here. Then I'm not putting many of these in, but I'm putting a few of our sub veins connecting just to make it look like an actual leaf. And the reason I'm not putting many in it is you'll see here in a second, we're gonna flip it over and pop those up. So let's move to this side. One, two, three, four, five. Couple sub veins, making sure that I'm connecting back to my main vein. All right, so I have some veins on my leaf. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> if you want to include an insect, now would be the time to do it. I want it to be petite, small. It is not the main focus. Your leaves are the main focus. So if you wanted to put in a little ladybug, might look something like that. Um, people have done a caterpillar. Um, 
So it'll be something small. I don't want like a huge centipede covering this thing, right? I'm actually gonna skip that part. Let me zoom out a scotch. So that I can show you how we're actually embossing. So what we've done is we've pushed down on the side without our name. We've outlined and pushed down. Now we are going to use the opposite side of our wooden needle tool. So not all of them are um, tapered on both sides. Some of them only have one side tapered, but if that's the case, just use the side that's tapered. You're gonna flip it over and you're going to be pushing down or embossing the side with your name on it. 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 The side with your name on it, okay? So I'm going to, let me zoom in again. Let's take this guy here, for example. I'm going to be kind of wiggling in between these lines that I pushed down. So on the opposite side, I pushed them down. Now when I flip them over, they're raised, right? So I'm going to come in and think of it as like coloring each piece in. I'm not, and moving on, that's not embossing. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting in the nooks and crannies a little bit, I'm going beside them. Beside my veins, I've at this point flipped it over to the pointed side so I can get in the nooks and crannies a little better. Um, be careful flipping over to the needle side. Remember I said that this may tear. What do you do if it tears? There's not much you can do. Um, what happens if you make a mistake? Well, there's a couple things, say, accidentally. Um, hold on. Why do you just see how that looks? So that's the embossed. It's like a cushion, and it's hard to see in the film, but you will actually feel it when you are doing it yourself. Let's say I... Um, oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. Now what do I do? Well, there's a couple things you can do. In this case, we can't erase it. We can't cut it off. We can't really color or paint over it. We can't glue something on top of it. So our options are to either A, turn it into something else, or use the other side of the paper. What do you mean use the other side of the paper? Well, we're going to carefully, with the beveled side, of our wooden needle tool, kind of almost lay it flat and see if we can't just kind of push that back out some. Is it going to ever be perfect? No. But if I kind of smooth this whole section here, not only is it gonna make the edge of my leaf pop, Where'd it go? Oh, over here. But we've gotten rid of it to some degree. Or I could turn it into another leaf. Or I could turn it into another branch. That is your choice. Now, as far as the stem goes, carefully, carefully, carefully. Again, with this side. I want that stem to pop. So I'm going right up against my edges, you see, this is raised here, so I'm in the middle. On the side with my name, right? With my name. Mrs. Shirtle, I over embossed and I lost my line. Okay, well, not a big deal. Flip it back over. I didn't really lose my line, but say I did. I'm just gonna trace over it again, not a big deal. All right, I'm laying this completely flat here. This is that area I made the whoops on, right? And I'm just kind of smoothing that out. 
and now my tree branch pops off. You are going to emboss your leaves and your stem and if you have an insect, you do not need to emboss the sky. I was just showing you what to do if you had a mistake. Okay, so today we are going to get our paper, I'm sorry, not paper, our aluminum, put our names on it, trace our stencils, put in the branches, put in the veins, and start embossing. Next class, we're gonna do some color. All right.